generator surging and uh, I bought it a week ago and called Champion and they were real good with the customer service. They sent me out a generator cover and a new carburetor two days next day or two day air and it came to, in two days. Really good. The only thing I could figure was that this thing had sat for a while with gas in the carb and varnished up or got debris in it somehow and the tech I dealt with on the phone seemed to agree. Now the serial number on this unit is dated 13 September so I'm figuring it sat because it's now July of 2014. So with that theory we're going to change the carburetor out and see if we can get away with fixing this thing without returning it. There we go. Draining the fuel out. Bubbles. Emptying the carburetor. So now with the inverter removed or pulled to the side, I haven't disconnected anything, just taking the two uh, screws out here that hold it in place and lifted it up. And we're going to pull the air cleaner box out. There's the carburetor. We're going to disconnect the fuel line and here's this line here on this carburetor. It connects here into the inverter box. So we're going to switch the fuel line to here, this here, hook up your choke, replace all the parts and uh, hopefully everything will work well. Carb swapped out, it's all buttoned back up. Um, pretty simple. Just make sure you have to turn the fuel on. <laughs> Didn't work for me what I did, so let's give it a try. So, pull out the choke. Oh, I gotta turn the power on. smoother, it's economy, this is regular. There you have it, prepared. Okay, here's all the parts and tools needed, a 10 millimeter ratchet, there's two, uh, there's a 10 millimeter socket, there's two at the bottom of the cover on the end, and two holding the carburetor on. A 930 seconds, yeah, 930 seconds socket. This is used to take off the little inverter cover uh, retaining parts. Phillips screwdriver, there's five of those on the end cover. Flathead to drain the hole in the carburetor. And needle nose pliers to remove the, and replace the clamp on the carburetor fuel line. And that's it.